When Queen Elizabeth asks Edward to pardon Clarence, along with everyone else, Richard starts up. He acts like the Queen is mocking him by saying Clarence's name, now that he's dead. Wait, what? Clarence is dead? Richard's news has the desired effect. Remember, Richard just had Clarence stabbed and drowned in a barrel of wine. As murders go, that's as cold-blooded as you get. King Edward is stunned. He thought he'd reversed Clarence's death sentence. Richard tells him that the messenger carrying the death sentence was fast, but the messenger carrying the royal pardon was too slow. Richard blames the king for executing his own brother and then throws suspicion on outsiders for good measure.